Do you find yourself asking God questions like, where are you, Lord? Have you forgotten me, Lord? Until when, Lord? How much work do I need to put into it for me to say I'm now living in my answered prayers? Why is it that everyone around me looks like they have their lives figured out but me? Why is it that even people who started after me, it looks like everything is going well with them? Where are you? What is happening in my life? And at this point, you are about to give up. This video is for you and I'm about to share with you two quotes and one scripture that is going to empower you and understand that as much as you say, Lord, I'm done, he is not done with you. Hey ladies, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Purpose Driven Women. On here, we are empowered women who build our relationship with, our relationship with Jesus. We work in our godly purpose and also answer to our calling fearlessly. So today, sis, I want to uh, empower you with this word. If you are watching this video, you feel left behind. You feel like, you know what, at this point, I'm just going to give up. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Well, let me say I've been there literally the beginning of the year, January. I was out. I was done. Okay. Started my year on a very low note. I, I was going to the boot camp, but I wasn't there mentally. I was just asking God, God, why is it that I keep on putting the work, but it looks like I am moving five steps behind. And trust me, I'm somebody who prays and talks to God. And this season, and this season in January, I was really talking to God like, uh-uh, I do not want my year to be like this. I do not want this uh, to happen in my life. And God responded with these two quotes and, and this powerful scripture, the one scripture that I'm going to share with you. And this is how God responded. He put these two quotes in this one scripture that changed my life honey and my february i can attest or anyone who knows me now my february is fired up okay so the first quote was comparison is the thief of joy when you compare yourself to other people says you become miserable when you compare yourself you're looking at other people you think other people they have it figured out but you don't know what they did to get there do not try to walk on their lane. Stay in your lane. When you start comparing your life to other people, it brews jealousy. It brews comparison. And not only that, you start becoming somebody else's assistant in their calling, in their purpose, and in their dreams. Because now you have moved away from your calling. It taking, it's taking time, right? So now you are trying to do what they did. In their lane, you're trying to do what they did and you are, you want, listen, there is a difference. I know you're like, but inspiration, yes, be inspired, but stay in your lane. When you stay in your lane, when you answer, when you're in obedience, working in your calling, you get inspiration. You are not swayed. But when you are comparing with other people, wanting to be like them so bad, wondering, what can I do to be like them? People out here are doing despicable things to make a name for themselves. We see this all the time. And some of them don't come out and share and say, this is what I did to take my shortcut to be where I am. They tell you the basics. So do not compare yourself. No matter what they, they are doing, no matter how they are, they, what they've achieved, celebrate with them, celebrate with them and know that God is still in the business of blessing his people. But do not compare your life to anybody most times when we start asking god those questions is because of what we are looking at we are looking at other people thinking they have it all figured out and you feel left behind but guess what you are not left behind you are on god's time once you understand that i am where god wants me you operate differently says you are going to embrace that season and you are going to understand that i will get there I will eventually get the way I want to be. I will get there. Okay. So I'm going to uh, follow with the scripture. The word of God says, when the time is right, I will make it happen. When the time is right, the Lord will make it happen. And this does not mean that when it has not happened yet, God is not with you. When it has not happened yet, 
God is still walking with you. So when it happens, when he shows up and shows off, this is God uh, exposing you to your destiny helpers or exposing you to people saying, when you were hidden, I was making you, I was preparing you, testing you, training you, because there is a lot that happens, you know, when you start working in your godly purpose, when you start answering to your calling, he's going to remove all the weeds, he's going to prune you, mold you, he's the porter, he's going to test you to see that you're only, lo you're only looking up to him, your trust, your trust is in him. There will be a lot of things that are happening, and trust me, in that season, you need to see him in that season. You need to celebrate every moment that you are in, whether it's crying, those tears are watering, the fruits that you are going to enjoy. You need to celebrate the small progress that you are making, whether it looks like, oh, this is not worth celebrating, celebrate it because he's showing you that I am with you. I am still in this season with you. I'm still in this moment with you. Whether it's in prayer, go into your prayer room, in your, uh, your fasting, you're praying, that is not all, that is not in vain. So when he says, when the time is right, I'll make it happen. When the time is right, I'll expose you to your destiny helpers. I'll expose you to the right people. But in your hidden time, what do you do in your hidden time? Do not compare yourself to other people. I am still a faithful God. Show up. Cultivate that gift. Cultivate that talent. Keep on marketing your business, no matter how small it is. Keep on showing up, whether it's in your fitness. Keep on going to the boot camp. Keep on going to the gym. Keep on being faithful before it happens. So do not let other, do not let the slow down, thinking I have slowed down. Do not let it think that you are not doing anything. Look at God. Look at what he's doing. Celebrate every, every progress. Start journaling, gratitude journaling, and you'll see that he is in the moment. And trust me, you'll start operating differently. Okay. And last but not least, my last quote is, when you stay in your lane, there is no traffic. Listen, this is, um, one of my favorite quotes this year so far. When you stay in your lane, there is no traffic. When you are obedient to God, when you are looking up, you know, to God, you are walking in who God has called you to, there is no traffic. So the traffic comes in when you start looking at other people. I was going through it in January, says, like I was really done. I was like, God, I'm done. Okay. At this point, I just want to sit down and do nothing with my life. But he put this and something that I'll be sharing with you, you know, in the next videos, the, the spirits that he showed me that I was operating under those spirits in that season. I'm going to share with you uh, those spirits. But he gave me this, 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 uh, this scripture and these two quotes that changed my life. And my February now, if you talk to my gym coach, she'll tell you that I'm fired up. My goals, I, I'm seeing them through, like I'm, I'm really showing up because I know that in his, in my waiting for that breakthrough, I have to keep on moving. It doesn't mean, waiting doesn't mean I'm folding my arms and doing nothing. So I'm staying in my lane, understanding that my time is coming. And when you are on God's time, says when he shows up, he shows off. When he shows up, he shows up. He, is, he does not need time or seconds or whatever. When the time is now, they are going to say, what happened? What did she do? So stay on God's time. Be on God's algorithm if you are a content creator. And always, always trust him fully. Let him guide your ways. Let him guide the, the plans. Write down your plans and commit them to him. He says in the book of Proverbs, commit your plans to me. Trust me. It's the scripture that I was reading today, my, my morning devotion. It's in Psalms 37 verses 5. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust me and he is going to fulfill your plans. I'm paraphrasing. You can read the scripture or I'm going to put it here. So trust the Lord says he's not done with you. You might feel done. He's not done with you. If you want to rest, you can rest. But don't sit. Don't just sit and say, I'm done. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on God. He's not yet done with you. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Stay in your lane and trust that when the time is right, he's going to show up and show off. 
I hope this empowers you. I hope this helps you to get up and get back and you know walk in your godly purpose and unleash that potential. Don't take it to the graveyard because things are not happening the way you want them to. Okay, that's how the enemy steals from us. He makes us only see the difficult things. We we want we are motivated when we see positive results, but you need to keep on going when you even when you don't see the positive results. All right. So have a wonderful and blessed Wednesday. I'll see you in my next video on Wednesday on our Wisdom and Wellness uh, Wednesday. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Remember to bloom and flourish where God has planted you. Have a blessed Monday. Bye.